Hello. Welcome to our presentation. My name is Lauren Iwata, and today I will be talking to you about fall prevention. Today's presentation is designed to help you understand the causes of falls, evaluate your fall risk, and gain tips and confidence on how to prevent falls. A fall is an unintentional loss of balance causing one to make unexpected contact with the ground or floor. The risk of falls increases steadily after the age of 65. One in three older adults fall every year in the United States. That is about 12 million Americans or 350,000 people who live just in Los Angeles County. The falls that occur with people 65 years and older are the leading cause of injury, hospitalization, and fall-related deaths. Why do falls happen? There are many factors that contribute to falls. There are internal factors, such as medications, poor vision, balance problems, and having a fear of falling. There are also external factors that include things like hazards in the home or poor lighting in public places. Evaluate your situation with your doctor. By making an appointment with your doctor, together you can evaluate your fall risk. Review your medications. Have a list of your prescription and over-the-counter medications ready to review at your appointment. Your doctor can take a look at your medications and check for any that may have side effects or interactions that would increase your risk of falling. He or she may be able to provide other options for medications or slowly wean you off any that pose danger to your fall risk. Discuss if you have fallen before or other near fall incidents. Include as much detail of any previous fall or close falling instances. This can help your doctor identify specific fall prevention strategies and target what could be the problem. Talk about your current health conditions. Certain eye and ear conditions may increase your risk of falls. It is important to get routine eye and ear examinations. Be prepared to talk about any chronic health conditions that you have and how it may affect your walking or balance. The doctor may take time to evaluate your muscle strength, balance, and walking style, also known as gait. Monitor your environment. Identify fall hazards around you to increase your safety. Hazards that occur in the home include clutter, poor lighting, throw rugs, and electrical cords. Outside environmental hazards are things like narrow sidewalks, high curbs, uneven roads, and obstacles in your walking path. Get active. A common fall myth among older adults is if I limit my activity, then I won't fall. This is false. The truth is that exercise can actually prevent falls. 30 minutes of physical activity a day can greatly improve your health. Even if you weren't physically active before, exercise can restore strength and flexibility. It is never too late to start an exercise program and reap the benefits toward better fall prevention. Please consult with your doctor before starting an exercise program, and together you can find an activity that is safe and fits your lifestyle. Some good activities include walking and water aerobics, which are both low-impact exercises, but still a good workout for your body. Also, Tai Chi and yoga are gentle exercises that involve slow and graceful movements. These types of activities can reduce the risk of falls by improving your strength, balance, coordination, and flexibility. Wearing sensible shoes. This one is really important. The shoes that you wear can make a huge difference in evaluating your fall risk. Walking shoes should have non-slip soles and should fit comfortably. You should inspect the insides of your shoes to ensure that no gravel or other items are inside the shoes to make sure you'll be comfortable when you walk. Try to wear shoes that enclose your toes and heels to provide you with the most protection and decrease your risk of falls. 
ladies, sorry, but no heels. High heels, floppy slippers, and shoes with slick soles can make you slip, stumble, and fall. Walking in stockings or socks on a smooth surface like wood flooring or tile can also cause you to fall. Preventing falls and injuries. Now to leave you with just a few more pieces of advice on fall prevention. Use a cane or walker to improve your balance. Many people assume that a walking assistance device will make them more dependent on that device. Walking aids are important in helping many older adults improve their mobility. However, make sure you use these devices safely. Learning how to use the walking device can make your life easier and safer. Take your time. Use caution when changing positions. Do not try to get up too quickly before you start walking again. Educate yourself. Understanding your fall risks can help you prevent falls and make you feel more confident as you move through your everyday life. For example, Cato offers a Matter of Balance class, which is an eight-week program designed to prevent falls and increase activity levels among older adults. For more information about this class and other educational opportunities from Cato, please visit our website at www.cato.org. Thank you for joining us today.